Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about upcoming projects. As usual, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my opinion, and my opinion could be totally wrong. You're gonna get absolutely wrecked, so always do your own research before buying or selling anything. Also, if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing to my channel, and definitely give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel with the whole YouTube algorithm. So continuing off of the trend I spoke about in my last video with the projects that have a Genesis Pass of a low supply performance very well we just saw one with the virtue animation studios now they are launching or launched a web 3 studio trying to disrupt hollywood so they're going to be launching their own ips now we have seen a few people try to launch shows i'm not sure about this one i assume it's still in production but their floor is down quite bad from what they originally minted for we also saw crapopolis recently mint and same thing this one did not mint out uh, they had a high mint price of 0.25 but i think it was a 10k collection they didn't mint out despite having a signed deal with Fox. So launching shows does not always work out. However, we have seen some of these studios do well. We recently had bad influence. I was an advisor on this project, full disclosure. Now this minted for 0.1 and it's currently sitting at roughly a 2X floor. And that's not even considering that 1500 of these minted for absolutely free. And now seeing this project launch where they're trying to create their own studio, launch their own IPs. I really like this. They have their own Genesis pass. It's a 500 supply. These minted for absolutely free and they have a floor above two Ethereum. Now, unfortunately, this one is already minted out. So if you're hoping to get whitelist and try to flip this, there is no chance to do that. However, there is one upcoming that will have a low supply Genesis pass, and that is Animeme Labs. Now, if you don't know Animeme, they have multiple YouTube channels with a lot of followers. They have this one, Animeme with roughly 1 million subscribers, where they create these parody shows based on memes, based on you know people in real life, based on pop culture, video games. And they also have the Yo Mama channel that has over 5 million subscribers. And in total, across all platforms, Facebook, YouTube, they have garnered over three billion views. Now they're also gonna be trying to launch their own YouTube show, which they've already done. They've been very successful doing that in the past, but they will be launching a series of NFTs in different waves. The first wave being the smallest supply, then increasing the supply over time while lowering the mint price. So the first one is gonna be Michelle. And with the funding from the Michelle NFT, they're gonna be launching a new YouTube series. Now this is gonna be launching on their existing YouTube channel, which is really a good thing because they're already making recurring revenue off of all their existing existing videos and then starting off with a ton of subscribers they're already going to have an audience that they can push this show out to and then make that money one of my biggest complaints with nft projects is that they have no recurring revenue and they have no model built into their business they just launched art so they don't know how they're going to make money as soon as secondary sales die which we're seeing happen with a lot of collections since we're in a really rough bear market now as i said they're going to be launching four different nfts michelle frank Urja and Brody. These are all part of one grand collection. However, prior to that, they will be launching their DNA pass, which is essentially their Genesis pass. It's going to be a supply of 333. And as we saw in my last video with collections like Tribe, Magma, Wumbo, and now the Virtue Animation Studios pass, these low supply Genesis collections tend to perform well. The next project on today's list is Who's Jai Labs. And I really dig the art for this one. If we check the artist's Instagram, if we check his Twitter, you get to see some of the art he's made in the past. It's this very minimalist style, but he does have a really cool looking character or a way of drawing characters. Now, one thing that's cool is they built this bot that lets you gauge which users are interacting with your Twitter posts, are interacting with YouTube, Instagram, whatever you want. And they're gonna be letting projects, they're gonna be letting people use this app, and then you're gonna be able to reward people who support you. So say I post a tweet and then with the bot in the discord, you like they're showing here, you like the tweet, you retweet it, you're going to get points in the discord. And then with those points, you're going to be able to redeem things like whitelist, merch, even NFTs, depending what the person running the bot wants to reward their followers or their holders. So I thought that was a really cool, innovative thing to do on their end. And other than that, the project, if you have a whitelist, it's going to be a free mint. The supply is 555 five and even if you don't have whitelist the price republic is going to be very very cheap so definitely another project i would check out next jumping over to solana we're seeing a ton of volume on the solana chain and a lot of solana projects are performing
performing quite well. Now, a lot of this does have to do with the recent Utes Mint, which was a three to four X, depending when you purchased your dust. However, it will be interesting to see if a lot of the outsiders, because this project did manage to do that one thing very well. It attracted a lot of people who had never even bought anything on Solana, and they actually put money into that chain to get this NFT. So attracting all those people, are they gonna stay on the Solana chain? Are they gonna explore other Solana NFTs? Maybe they flipped their Utes for a 4X and then they bought an OK Bear or they bought another NFT, or are they just taking that money and bringing it back into Bitcoin, bringing it back into Ethereum or just straight into cash? Now, a few projects that have been performing well, I managed to get on some of these. The first one is going to be ABC by 9x9x9 or his soul account hge.soul. Now, this one was a very cheap mint. I believe it was one Solana to mint or like 1.3 Solana and they have pumped all the way up here. You could see 57 Solana. Last week, they were at three and they pumped all the way up to 70. So more than a 20 X if you got in just a week ago. Another one that's seen a ton of volume recently is going to be Kikiverse. And if you check here, it was recently under one Solana. It is currently sitting at four. It pumped the other day all the way up to seven. And I personally really like the art for this project. I actually covered it in the past before it minted. But if we go to their website and you scroll down to the advisors, you could see that HGE or 9X9X9 is also an advisor for this project. So it does seem like whatever he attaches his name to is doing very well on the Solana chain. So I have been following him recently and one of the projects he has been tweeting about, of course, is going to be Lunar. Now I covered Lunar in the past as this is the project by OpenDAO, which is by 9x9x9. They are launching the Lunar project. However, the other day it did announce that it is switching over from Ethereum onto Solana. And I do think for this project, this is a great decision, not only due to the current meta of Solana having a lot more volume or not really a lot more, but having a lot more attention and a big increase in volume compared to Ethereum, but also because of the relation to HGE or 9X. Other than that, there aren't that many new projects that I'm checking out, especially on Solana. The only other one that I have an eye on is going to be Yukio. However, the Discord is locked, so I'm not able to tell you any information on this project. I do like some of their art. This piece is awesome. I really like how this one looks. And then there's one, if I scroll down here, this one. This reminds me of Bumblebee from Transformers. But like I said, I'm keeping an eye on this one, but I have no information because the Discord is not open. But since it's on Solana and I'm trying to explore Solana, I'm trying to look more into projects. They also seem to have gotten a lot of collabs here. They're saying they're turning off and on the collab sheet. They got 1,781 requests for people to collab with this for whitelist. So another one that's on my radar, but like I said, I have no info. So definitely do a deeper dive if you are interested in this project. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? Smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.